All right, for a double slit configuration where the slit separation is four times the slit width, how many bright infer interference fringes lie? Okay. Uh, this is, by the way, um, randomly generated, so it will change depending on who's doing it. Um, so actually, when you submit something, uh, you'll get a hint. I think you should. Yeah, OK. So there's the hint. Uh, let me. Um, uh, let, me, um, let me show you what the hint is supposed to show. So the hint goes to the double slit interference pattern. And this is the picture I want you to have in mind. It's uh, so much better when you have a clear mental picture than when you don't. Oh, wait. I guess, all right, I guess this is good enough. So um, uh, it's talking about in central maximum, right? This is what it's referring to as a central maximum. So this is the central diffraction maximum. So it's asking you to count. Uh, um, so it, the question relates to, I guess in this question, it's uh, how many uh, fringes lie. OK. So um, um, the easiest way to do this by counting the order. So. Um, so you first identify the order that would be missing. And hopefully, based on the lab that you did and everything else, hopefully from this information, slit separation is four times the slit width, you can quickly get that this missing order here will be four. Right? OK. Then the orders you see will be the first order, second order, and third order. OK. You have. Um, you have three maximum here, and you have three maximum on the other side, right? And what you have to remember to not forget is the zeroth order, the central maximum for interference pattern. So uh, if your missing order is four, then the total number of the interference maxima will be, well, four minus one, three times two, six, plus one more, so seven. 